Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading uh, for Aries. So uh, what is your life's purpose for December 2022? Um, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs, any placements if, if, if you want. Um, so uh, we're going to take a look and see how your journey is going when it comes to your life's purpose. And then we'll finish off the read to see what your life's purpose is how you could get there. Okay, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below, okay? So um, Aries, let's get started. Tell me about Aries here. How is Aries' uh, journey going when it comes to their life's purpose? How is um, Aries' journey going when it comes to their life's purpose for December 2022 for Aries? Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles here. We have the Tower. You know, I feel like when it comes to what you're doing right now, this is something that you don't really want to do. I just feel like you're looking for a big change here. You know, it could be a situation with people that you're working with, not your jam. The type of work that you're doing, not your jam. It seems like you're looking for like a big change, a big shift here. You know, this could be indication with the chariot and the eight of wands here. You might want to do something where, you know, it sort of like keeps you on your toes here, where you're moving around a lot. You know, um, you know, maybe a job that involves traveling. OK, you know, I just feel like there is just discontent when it comes to the work that you do. It's just like I said, it's not really your jam here. If anything, I feel like you might be bored of it. OK, you know, I just feel like maybe, you know, I mean, you're trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's try you're trying to figure out what that life's purpose, what you're meant to do here. But whatever you're doing here, it just seems like a nine to five situation that's not really working for you. Okay, we have the six of cups here. You know, I, I feel like there's an energy of thinking back, like of easier times here, like having nostalgia about the past. It could be a situation where you're re revisiting like the past here to see, you know, what is it that you're missing, you know? Um, so let's see, tell me about the Three of Pentacles here. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Three of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. You feel, I feel like, you know, with the Three of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords, I feel like you're st feeling really stuck. It's like, you know, I feel like you don't really know how to get out. Even you, even though you really want to get out, it's like you don't know how. Tell me about the tower here. We have the King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, one of the reasons why I feel like you're staying in a situation, a work situation that you're not really enjoying, is because of the safety, the safety net. Yeah, you know, you know when you're getting paid. You know, you're being, you're being taken care of and stuff like that. But it's just really boring to you. The Eight of Wands here and the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Chariot here. Why is the Chariot here in the Five of Swords? You know, I, I really feel like you want to sort of like disengage from this and move on from this. But I, I feel like with the Five of Swords, there's an energy of second guessing it and not wanting to give up. It's like an energy of like, you know, of like quitting. You know, sort of like quitting something or giving up too easily. The thing is, like, if it's causing you suffering, it's like, what's the point of staying, you know? Um, tell me about the four of swords, uh, four of cups here. We have the two of wands. Tell me about the six of cups here. You have a decision to make here. Yeah, you have a decision to make whether you want to cut this out, you know, sort of end the employment here and, like, move towards something else here. 
it seems like there's something that you've always wanted to do here that you never got to do. And I feel like, you know, you could be making plans about revisiting something in the past here. I mean, I feel like when it comes to what you're doing right now, it seems like you're having a major breakthrough here. Okay, some sort of awakening. So Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What is um, what is Aries' uh, life's purpose and how can Aries get there? What is Aries' life purpose and how can Aries get there for December 2022? All right, we have the moon here and the fool. Uh, there's some sort of fear of stepping into the unknown here. You know, one of the one of the important things about how you could get there, get to where you need to be, is to really trust your intuition here. Yeah, really just trust your intuition because your body is telling you to go, but there is a resistance in going. You know, the more the more that you resist, you know, the more that you will hinder your own growth your evolution, your progression here. So the moon, Cancer, Pisces, a fool here, Aries energy, also uh, Aquarius energy. We have the Ace of Swords here in the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy here. You know, I just feel like, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles here, you just feel like you're better off doing things on your own here. Sort of like being your own boss, okay? So I feel like there is something here that you're trying to figure out. Maybe, yeah, maybe you could start a business here or something like that. We have the Nine of Cups here and the Devil. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, you could be you could be wanting to do something where you are giving back to others here and helping others here. Some of you guys might have struggled with alcoholism, okay, and that you guys are sober now, okay? And maybe you guys want to start something where, you know, uh, you know, you're helping others that's struggling through this. You know, maybe that's, perhaps that's a life, life's purpose here. I'm going to take the star card. We have to take, I mean, it's the star card, Aquarius energy. We have the seven of pentacles here and the, and the fool. So there's definitely a lot of like reassessing that's going on here. You definitely want to do something more. And I feel like, like you're being called to, you know, but I, I also feel like, you know, there there's a fear, like I said, of taking the leap here. Ace of swords. We have the ace of swords here and the knight of pentacles. We have the... Nine of Pentacles and the Hangman Piscean energy. You know, I do, I do feel like you know, regarding you know, maybe what you've been through here. Uh, you know, I feel like there's a lot of knowledge and wisdom surrounding that, and I feel like you could spread that around. You know, with the Knight of Pentacles here, I just feel like you're slow to sort of take action here. You know, but I, I just feel like you know, there's a there's just a lot of thinking, just a lot of figuring out that's happening here. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Cups. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is like it's important to sort of like, you know, listen to what your body is telling you. Um, yeah, it's about trusting your intuition here. We have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like, you know, in the past, you kind of struggled with like substance abuse or something like that. You know, there's an energy of self-sabotage, addictions here, you know, and I feel like you could utilize you know, your experience to, you know, help people that are struggling with it. You know, perhaps even uh, help help the youth. Maybe this this happened in your youth or something like that. Let's see. What else do we have here for Aries regarding their life's purpose? What else do we have here for Aries when it comes to their life's purpose here? We have author. Yeah, so you have a book inside of you that you wish to express. Make time to write it. Yeah, this is about like, this is about the, you know, kind of like telling your experience and perhaps helping people with it. Yeah, it, it could be something that has to do with addiction, all the pain that you've been through here, you know, whatever that may be. And then we have trust, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So this is all about trusting your intuition here, you know. You know, our, our bodies have innate abilities to like reject what's not ours and they feel like there's a situation that you're in where your body's rejecting it, okay? So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.